Biggest names of Big 12 basketball are here in Kansas City. We are in the middle of media days for the conference. Sports director Len Jennings joins us live downtown with the day's highlights. Hi, Len. Hi, Laura. Hi, Bria. Yeah, we're inside the T-Mobile Center. As you look over my right shoulder here, you can see that they're breaking everything down. Big 12 Media Days is now in the books. Now, of course, this was an opportunity for every team in the conference to send their coaches as well as several players to meet with the media, ask several questions. And as they're breaking down, as I mentioned, breaking down this floor, the next time we see this tournament floor will be in the tournament next March in the spring. Now, yesterday, New Commissioner Brett Yarmark made comments about hoping to keep the Big 12 tournament here in Kansas City. I had an opportunity to ask K-State head coach Jerome Tang and KU head coach Bill Self about their thoughts about the tournament staying in Kansas City and well, their answers weren't too surprising. It's the best neutral court that there is to have a tournament, you know. Uh, that was a joke. Uh, 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 I think even for schools outside our area, it guarantees you playing in a real atmosphere. If you'd asked me this question two years ago, I'd have been like, that's not fair. We need to have it in the South. So now I'm located somewhere where I absolutely love it being here. <laughs> so we, it can stay here forever. I'm all right. Thumbs up from Coach Tang and Coach Self. The Big 12 tournament coming back to Kansas City. Next spring, now the women's tournament used to be just down the street at Municipal Auditorium, but next spring, the women will be playing here at T-Mobile Center. They'll be tipping off a week before the men's tournament. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, I'm Len Jennings for KNBC 9 News. Back to Bria and Laura. Very exciting.